Got a new tool here called the Layer Preset Manager. Uh, this is a really popular one and it helps keep your scene organized and makes it very easy to set up layers inside your file. So to dive right into it, uh, the tool automatically populates with a few examples. So you can kind of see these here as options. If we start with the most basic one, which is layout, we have multiple layers here, stage, layout, environment, props, and cameras. So what you can do here is hit create layers and you'll see it creates that layout here. Now this is where the power comes into the tool. What you can do is when you create a new preset, you can add these tokens and these tokens become editable fields that you can fill out prior to creating a layer. So in this case, let's say I'm going to create a character called Mikey and we're going to make it a uh, version 05. We can go ahead and create those layers. And now we have Mikey V05. We can simply rename this row on the fly and say uh, bug. And we'll call it V01 and create those layers. So super useful, really quick to put together. Um, another option um, showing you how the create layers under selected works. If we go into asset, you can see it doesn't have kind of a parent layer like characters did, which by this having a parent layer, it helped always nest all of these under one thing. But you can make one generic asset, and let's just call this bunnies. And the type, we will say this is a prop. Now if I go ahead and hit create, it's gonna create these layers at the root level of my scene, but I want them to be under the characters. So what I can do is select this and hit create, create layers under selected layers. So it automatically finds what I have selected here in the Explorer and dumps it right inside of there. So awesome, super easy and quick to use. Getting into the preset creation process, we'll give it a name here. We'll say uh, test asset. And then what you can do, which is nice, is you can add the scene layers. If you wanna set up your scene with all the layers that you wanna have as a preset, you can then hit that and have them all in here and save that as a preset that you can then reuse in other files. Uh, in this case, we don't need to do that. We're gonna go ahead and create a new one and we'll just say this layer name will be called root. And then underneath that, we will create another one called uh, lights with some underscores. And we'll create another one called models underscores. Underscores are just really for um, personal preference. And as you can see here, you can drag and drop these items here inside this little list view to make it possible to rearrange and nest things as needed. And then you can double click them to edit their name. So let's go ahead and put those both under root and then under lights, let's just make this layer called, uh, we'll put a token in here and call it name. Uh, we'll do light name. And then under models, we'll just do a new layer and we'll call it uh, character name or to keep it consistent, we'll say model name. And then we'll hit save. So now we have test asset out here and you can see these tokens become available immediately. So you can go in here and give the light a name. Maybe we're gonna call it a key light. And then we're gonna call uh, the model, we'll call it donut. And go ahead and hit create. And now we have root. We have our models and lights and donut and key. So that's Quick run through of the tool. If you guys have any suggestions, features, uh, any feedback, let me know. And thanks.